Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to the Penn Detention Center. I'm Eli B. Booker. I've been warden here at the Penn Detention Center for about six years now. I'm running a tight ship. You know, here, this is the honor, the honor dome. You know, for our juveniles who might have broken a crown, but they're still pursuing a career and trying to go to college and better themselves. So we hold them in this dorm to separate them from the nonsense that happened in the other dorms with the violence and the, you know, the more dangerous and more mischief inmates here at the detention center, you know. Some of these juveniles, they're just crazy and they're just wow. Here are the boys' dormitories here at the Penn Detention Center. But due to a recent riot, they're on 23 and one lockdown, so we won't be actually getting a chance to interview the boy inmates because of their precinct activities. But here at the Penn School, I'm not only the warden, but I'm the ass school basketball coach as well, man. <laughs> What's up, bro? Come on, come on, come on, man. You know, I teach discipline, and I use it as a tool to, to keep the kids under control because if they want to play, they got to act right. And when they get a demerit, I don't want to play. I'm very firm on no punishment. I'm straight. Run with an iron fist. Let's go. Come out yourselves. When y'all come out, make sure y'all shirts is tucked. Hands behind y'all back. Let's go. It's always you. Tuck in your shirt. Stoney D. Nice Williams. My reason for my arrest is attempted murder. I ain't do that, dog. I ain't do that. I've been here for seven months, but my sentence is five years. This pool is joined up. I got my little clock or whatever. I ain't wearing my little guy. Officer, head up there. Check if I got your bed and everything before you take to the gun. Turn it to the wall. Put your hands on the wall. Hey, man, what's your name? Shut your mouth before I put you on. Don't shut me. Oh. Yeah, check your boots. They should be in the evening. Stay searching somewhere else. One more word. One more word. One more word. You the whole. Two weeks. So I'll eat you. Stick in your mouth. Take it down. Line back up and take it down. I've been here for a little while now, got a little job or whatever. It's cool though. I'm trying to get out of here, I'm trying to go far. I ain't trying to be here. Let's go. Why not? I'm coming down. Originally was locked up for attempted murder and assault with deadly weapon. You know, I always got to keep my little yeah, me in the cut. I've been here since I was 15. I'm 21 years old, so I've been here for like seven years. I'm like the vet up in this drawer. You know, everybody look up, and respect me. I'm this area right here, we call this the compound A. Compound at every block. This is where they come. Watch TV, play cards, fraternize with each other. So it's easy for fights to break out. Today seemed like an easy day. Yes, 
besides that, the only people who really don't who really don't care about is the CEOs because they don't want to and don't really care about what's going on. But we all look up to him when he he gets paid to us. Please clap for the day, man. We're about to be shower time to move it. Shower time, line up. Yo, you always have to be early. Stop. Hands behind your back. What are you doing, Shane? What's up? Come on, boy. You know this. What are you doing? Come on. Knock it off. No, we're not going to. Knock it off. Sorry I had to get that on camera, but other than a few altercations or a few fights, it's simply peaceful here at the Pentagon. No escapes, not too many daily riots, but other than what you see, that's simply what here at the Pentagon. On each floor, we house about six inmates per unit, four units on each floor, 24 inmates on each floor, so you can just do it by the math. Protecting here at the Pentagon, and I'm more Eli. I'm here to rehabilitate my inmates, but not just punish them as well. There's too many institutions around the country where inmates aren't being rehabilitated. They're going into these institutions and they're coming out worse. And I'm here to make a change. Here at the Penn School, if your child was in there, beyond what he did, murder, robbery, anything, he will be treated just like any other human being. Because here at the Penn Detention Center, it isn't just about punishment. To be all rehabilitation and love, and that's what I'm here for. To rehabilitate and to love each inmate as if he or she is a human being. 